I'm Nate Weens. I'm the head track and field and cross country coach at Mid American Nazarene University. I chose to coach at MNU because, uh, you know, it's my alma mater. I enjoy this place. After spending, you know, uh, the last eight years at Division One universities, it's good to get back to where I graduated from. Part of the reason why I chose to coach here is a big part of my coaching philosophy is coach the whole person, not just the athletic person. And I believe that this is the best place I can possibly do that. You know, after being at, you know, big time D1 all the way down to D2 and NAIA schools, I found that this is really where my coaching style fits best because student athletes can really come, understand who they need to be, and get that overall uh, overreaching support from faculty, staff, coaches, other teammates. And this is the place that I found is the best place to do that. My expectations for the first year and, and for every year is number one, just instill a foundation and lay a foundation for academic success. We're, uh, we're a university, that's got to be our number one goal. And I think more so than that, one of my major things that we're going to be focusing on is the development of the whole person. Um, again, that's got to be paramount to everything else that happens. If you can develop as who you're supposed to be, the gifts and talents that you've been given, and you take that on to whether it be the track, whether you take that into the classroom, no matter where you go with that, that's going to ensure that I graduate. That's going to ensure that I'm successful. And so once I understand that, that's going to be the major kickoff point for us as far as what we want to do in our first year. Uh, I feel like when we do that, we are going to be successful. We are going to get the things done that we need to get done as a program. All right, what we're currently looking for in recruiting is a fit for the team. Uh, I've talked to a lot of talented athletes. Uh, I've talked to some that just want an opportunity. But the biggest thing that I look for in developing what we're trying to do right now is the fact that you fit who we are and what we're trying to do with the program. That's, that's got to be our number one goal when it comes to recruiting. Um, so far, we've recruited a lot of very special athletes when it comes down to understanding the talent that they have mixed with the kind of person they are or the kind of person they want to be, and they understand that this is the place to do that. You know, second of all, it's not just a fit for the team. You have to be, you know, talented at some level. We want to have a we, we want to have a team that can take it to the next level. That's not just a good conference team, but we want to have that focus a little bit past conference into nationals, into uh, you know whether it be USA Juniors or competing at USA Trials, things like that. Is is we want to dream big, and so we want those athletes that whether hey listen I'm I'm just not that good at high school, but I'm hungry and I still want to do it. We're a great opportunity for you. Because in all honesty, maybe, maybe your success is just a college season away from taking the next step to being good at the conference level. For some of those athletes that are already good at the conference or even national level, we want to take you to the next level and really get you to the U.S. level, get you to the U.S. junior level and have an experience that you can really grab a hold of and say, listen, I, I was able to do something extraordinary with my talents. All right, I think one of the biggest things that sets MNU apart from other institutions is just the positive atmosphere, is when you come on campus, you don't feel like, you know, it's me against the world. You feel like when I walk into campus center, I can sit down at any table and feel like I get along with whoever I'm sitting down with. I feel like I can meet with my professors after the classroom, uh, after my session. Hey, I didn't quite understand that. Well, they're going to help you get through those tough parts because they are your personal mentors. And what really sets us apart for more so than, than just about anything else is, you know, we're, we're very optimistic. We're optimistic about who we're going to be on the team. When you talk to anybody in the athletic department, they understand they're coming here as opposed to other places because I think there's just less drama and there's also more positivity. When, it, when, when you really want to invest in a program and when you, when you see yourself giving your time and effort to something, you want to make sure that you have returns on those dividends. You want to make sure you have returns on the, the amount of effort that you're putting in. And I feel like at M and you, you're going to find those returns. You're going to find those things that when I put effort forward, you're going to see how I'm becoming a better person, how that's really built up inside of me. Um, I recently had a recruit tell me, uh, you know, and, and he was from, you know, a, a, a coastal state. And I said, what's the biggest difference between here and where you're from? He's like, there's just no drama and there's no distractions. It's not everybody's trying to be somebody they're not. He's like, here I feel like I can become who God created me to be. And he's like, I'm getting better on the track. I'm getting better in my academics than I have ever before in my life. All right, what makes MNU a good choice for student-athletes 
is the fact that when you walk into a Cook Center and you're surrounded by, you know, 35% of campus, which is student athletes, you really have a good understanding of what MNU is about. It's a athletics is important to us here. And so it's not just some place that you're going or you're a member or I kind of get lost in the crowd. Like you, you do stand out. You have the ability to really come and succeed at a high level. I think the great thing about it is the fact that, um, you know, like we talked about, there's a positive environment, but it's just an academically sound institution. Where as some places I might go and, you know, potentially be in a classroom of 200 different different individuals, maybe three, maybe 400 different in individuals. You know, our, our largest class size is around 40, maybe 50. And so when you come in here, you realize that our professors and teachers have time out to actually take with you as a student athlete. When you're going to be traveling and when I'm going to be gone every weekend competing, they're going to be able to sit down with you on Monday and say, here's what you missed. Here's how we need to get it better. Here's the next steps we can take. You're also going to get that surrounding, uh, you know, those arms put around you by our coaching staff that says, listen, we, we want to see the best for you. And one thing that we can assure you on our coaching staff is your worth to us is never going to come in how fast you are. It's going to come in who God created you to be and who you are as a person. When we can get real on that level, you're going to understand that you're going to get faster on the track. You're going to graduate your classes because we're going to be able to see each other on a little different level than just how fast did you run. You know, our vision for the MNU track and field program and cross country programs is the fact that we are real. You know, capital R E A L, real. And, and when I say that, I mean don't come in. You know, we're looking for athletes. When I said be a fit for the team, we want people that come in and they really want to figure out how I'm created. They really want to figure out how can I get as good as I can on the track, but also take next steps towards being a man. Take next steps towards being a woman. Take next steps towards actually growing up, maybe in my faith, maybe in my academics, maybe taking steps they've never taken before. And all that takes truth, it takes trust, and it takes the ability to be real with your coaches, real with each other, and wanting to get to a campus that focuses in on not the outer image of, of what you're trying to be, but rather actually who you are. And we want to develop that person. We want to see that, that young people are growing. They're growing in their faith. They're growing in who they are as a person. And they're growing in what they understand real truth to be. And the cool thing is, is when you really get down to that, you have great coach-athlete relationships. And you also have the ability of young men and women to step forward. And, and, and men to say, I know how to be a husband. And, and women that say, I know how to be a wife. And, and I know how to carry these talents that I brought forward with me. Not just on the track. And, and some people get actually take that forward and actually go post-collegiate. But that's not our main goal. Our main goal is, is understanding how can I get to be the best person I possibly am and move that forward. And we want to be the kickoff for that. And we want to be... Uh, we want to give you the opportunity to be as real as possible on our team so when you graduate, you can take that forward into your community and just spread that truth to other people. All right, so if you're looking to run at this level, if you're looking to make the, the transition from a junior college or from a high school into a four-year collegiate university setting, uh, there's a couple things that you can do. You can contact me. All my contact information is at mnusports.com. Uh, great resource just to check out all the cool stuff that's going on here at MNU. Uh, the second thing that you can do is you can fill out an application online uh, and, and or email me, call me, all my contact information is on the web. We are looking for those people that can come and contribute at the conference and national level. That, that's, you know, that, that's one of the things, that's, that's the calls that I make, those are the people I pursue. But I'm also looking for those individuals that say, hey listen, I just need a chance. I need a chance for somebody to believe in me, somebody to believe that I have the gifts and ability to make it at this level. And if that's you, I am interested in hearing from you. I've seen a lot of people that have started with what they thought wasn't a lot of talent that have built themselves just through hard work and perseverance, built themselves up to being something great. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you.